Hello, welcome everybody to episode one of Mumpreneur Talk Show that we have been bombarding you about uh, for the past two weeks. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, we are coming to you here from three different spots on this globe and we'll tell you more about ourselves and what do we do in the next um uh less than an hour let's say it that way okay i'm gonna start by introducing myself my name is amal i am originally from lebanon and at the moment i live in canada with my family uh i live in an area called muskoka which is two hours north of toronto we have a lot of snow at the moment um and we normally love it because there's a lot of nice activities. It's just this year, as everybody knows, is a little bit exceptional. Uh, okay, a little bit of background about myself. Um, I uh, left Lebanon more than 20 years back. I studied hospitality management in the American University in Beirut, and I came to the US long, long time ago to pursue a career in hospitality. And I traveled all over the world. I lived in the US, I lived in the Middle East, in Dubai, Qatar, Oman, uh, and now in Canada. Uh, through my careers in hospitality and hotels, I was part of one of the international big chain, uh, and I opened a couple of properties and more for them. Uh, it was a really nice um, uh, uh, lifestyle then. Uh, my family consists of uh, my husband, uh, my 13 year old boy, and my four year old girl, and my uh, dog Apollo, who is two years old. Um, this light, this this time, uh, I uh, had a little bit of a hiccup in the summer when I lost my job because of the pandemic. Everybody knows hospitality. Now it's not doing well all over the world. And that brought me to uh, a different industry that I will tell you more about uh, um, in a couple of um, uh, Yes, I am a mom and I am a business owner. Um, there was a lot of changes that happened to my life uh, this year and when crisis hit sometimes it opens our eyes to uh, what life could be and what life could bring to us we just needed to a little bit of shock and that's how i see uh, 2020 in my life um, at the moment i had made a big shift i'm enjoying every minute of it and i'm learning that's the best part is that I'm learning uh, as I go every day. Um, yeah, this is this is a little bit of background about myself. Nice. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our first episode, like Amal said. Uh, my name is Zareen, uh, originally from the Golan Heights, which is a Syrian land that is occupied by Israel for everyone that don't don't know who what what is the Golan Heights. Uh, I have been here in the United States since 2015. Uh, I am a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I live with my husband and my two uh, angels. I have two boys, uh, almost five and almost uh, three. And um, uh, I am a mother now, and that's what what I said. So. Uh, before I came here, a um, little bit about my background. Uh, I worked at uh, banking. Uh, I had a major on Chinese medicine. Uh, I owned my clothes boutique and I was super uh, busy. Um, and then I got married and I decided to come to Canada and start my new life with my husband. Uh, that is about myself. Uh, today I am a stay-at-home mom, a student. I am studying uh, with a major of nursing, and uh, I am a digital business owner. That's it. Hi, my name is Celine. 
I'm also super excited to be uh, on the show with my uh, partners here. It's something that's very, very important to us, and we hope that it will uh, be as important to you guys. Too. Um, I'm uh, originally from Lebanon. We, my parents immigrated here about 30 years ago, so I was really young uh, when I came here. Um, and I really consider uh, Canada. I live actually in Montreal, Quebec, and this is my country. I, I wasn't lucky enough. I went only once uh, to Lebanon, back to Lebanon when I was 14, and I hadn't got any other chance to go back. This is one of my dreams also to take my family and go visit. I miss a lot of them, um, but I still consider myself very lucky to have had an opportunity to live in uh, um, North of America and Canada. The opportunities we have here, we're very lucky and blessed. So um, I've studied in, um, account in accounting. I've worked a little bit in it. It wasn't for me. And then I did a little bit of interior design, uh, but then we got discouraged because they told us that there isn't many jobs at that time in interior design. So I had to switch and then I, got a chance to start working in a, a corporation uh, in um, in clothing uh, uh, company. And I stayed there for about uh, 13 years. And then I changed, uh, I needed a change in my life and I went for another company, which now I'm in and I'm a sales e-commerce uh, manager. So it's also in a corporation world. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my dream when I was a young girl was to get married and have a family and kids and the princess life. So I did that. I actually got married young when you consider now the time the time we're in now. I got married at 24 uh, and I have two kids. My little girl, she's going to turn 12 in a few months, Leah, and my son, Michael, is five years old very active uh, kids they keep us on our uh, toes um so i've been uh, married for almost uh, 14 years now and i am blessed i have my parents next to me my brother and my sister they live really close to me so um yeah as a, as i spend a lot of my time with the family um and uh, i'm also a business owner uh since this year last year actually and uh, that's it that's about it for me yeah um i wanted uh, before we proceed i wanted to just say hi to good morning ammar sabah al khair ammar am biyhkina bil arabi so arabi bil arabi uh, Brandy, come on, also is here. Uh, good morning, Brandy. Hi, Thank Brandy. you for watching. <laughs> uh, I want uh, to thank everybody who is watching us, and I hope we bring you a little bit of value for your day. Uh, I want to ask everybody to let us know where are you tuning in from. We'd like to hear from you. We would love to know how far are we reaching, and. Um, and who's watching us and what can we bring in uh, to your day um so i am from ontario irene is in ohio in the states and um celine is in montreal quebec you might be asking yourself how come how do you know each other what is the what is the common thing here's a secret actually we never met in person. We came together through a platform that we all three of us use in our businesses. We met online, believe it or not. Um, and uh, we, we all three of us are part of this uh, platform that helped us starting our own business. This is the platform that we work with. Uh, we learned step by step how to launch all our different platforms and how to really start and become a business owner and an entrepreneur. Um, 
this is what like we know each other for years. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is what what brought us together. Yes, it was a business. Yes, it was a system. But we found in the group that we are, we are part of a smaller group and then a bigger community. Uh, so the smaller group that we are part of, um, most of the people in that group are from an Arab origin um, and have been in different parts of the world for different reasons. You know, life takes us places and makes us meet people here and there. And Celine, Irene, and myself connected on so many other levels besides the business as moms, as, um, as women, entrepreneurs who are uh, looking to put a stamp for ourselves as a person in our society and help others and be, um, be a little bit of an active person who can bring in value to the community around us, to our kids, to our uh, families and to our friends. And we found each other talking to each other at least once a day. And we, we heard we from are. our audiences, from our uh, connections, uh, that there's a lot of ladies that are in our shoes, uh, a lot of uh, need there for women to really want to be with their kids. They, want, they don't want to give their kids to the nannies to um, spend their time with. They want to uh, be uh, their own person as well learn uh, what's happening around us and uh, make a difference in around where we are. So this is where the idea of this program came up and of the show. And we're like, why don't we share our journey with others and hear from others? Uh, what a perfect timing to start mm -hmm. now at the, the month, uh, the woman month, right? It's, it's I know the whole month of March. Yeah, for... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are in the Middle East uh, also celebrate the Mother Day in March, not just like Yes, that. in, in uh, Lebanon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting a lot of comments, come on. It, yeah, we are. I'm just trying to share the comments on the on the screen so everybody can see. Uh, thank you, Najwa, for being here. Anas, thank you for being here. Oh, Samar, hi, Samar. Samar is one of our business partner as well. Uh, Sabah Al Noor, hi, hi. <laughs> Lena is here as well. Hi, Lena. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you guys for being here with us, uh, and uh, we hope we'll bring you a little bit of value you today uh in this beautiful day uh so yeah please let us know where are you tuning in from we'd like to hear how very, far yeah. we are reaching this is very important to us uh so yeah so this show is gonna be here every thursday at noon and we will be putting together content from our end to really share our journey, our uh, successes, our hiccups, our learning. I'm not going to say uh, failure. Failure does not exist in our world. We always step on the failure and move on to the next step and what's coming next. And uh, we want to share this with you. We want to bring it to your life and we want to hear from you as well. I want to add to your uh, comments Amal, about yeah. mothers and all the questions we, we got from all the mothers for new personality. Uh, I, I am a student, like I mentioned before. I, have, I am a mom of two uh, boys. I am super busy uh, before I came across this business. Uh, and when I saw this opportunity uh, to work from home, um, I said it's it's my opportunity. I have to take it because I mm. want to work. I, I want to, to earn. Uh, okay, I am a mother and it's the most valuable job in the world, mm. I know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, uh, I am studying I, and I am feed my mindset and everything, but I have to earn. This is my personality. I have to help my husband financially uh, and I want him to stay with us at home. So, mm -hmm. um, mm. I, I thought a lot of things about uh, how I can do that, uh, but uh, in, in my mind, uh, from the first second, I believe in myself and I said, I have to go with this community. I, this is my opportunity, this is my job. And mm -hmm. I 
uh, to all the women that asked me, especially the moms, about uh, how we organize the, our time uh, with the kids, with the many things we do, and also working. Uh, I want to say um, something inside us uh, as a mom uh, make us do everything and and, and find time everything in our life we don't have to be uh, to do everything 100 percent but i am sure we can do everything 80 percent i am sure from my experience i'm telling you you can go and, and join this job and uh, do many things in your life everything you love and uh, studying uh, working out uh, everything you love mm -hmm. and you still have time to your family and to your kids and uh, do do everything for them. In the end, we everything we do from the moment we became moms, everything uh, we do for our kids. This is from mm -hmm. like, I yeah. know all of you uh, ladies, Amal uh, and Celine, uh, accept this. But for me, from the moment I got birth for my kids, everything I did and everything I'm doing now, it's for them in the end. Mm. Yeah, I see your point, uh, Irene. Yeah, it's really true. Uh, true. Absolutely. Yeah, if I want to talk about my why, um, I joined this business. Um, so when I lost my job in August 2020, uh, I was uh, in a really nice job, and I this was I was an event management director in one of the resorts here in the area I am in, and this is what I wanted to be. I was in this kind of level for the past, I would say, seven years. Um, it was what I loved to do. It was bringing really good income. I used to make six figures um, a year. And at some point in my life, I was thinking, this is how life's supposed to be. I'm supposed to be working so long. That's fine because I'm providing to my family because my kids are having the comfortable life that I want to give them. And that's okay if I'm working 10, 12, 13 hours a day outside um, the house. But when the pandemic hit, actually, I realized um, that how much I was, was, I was missing, how much of the days with my kids when I thought that I was taking care of them by providing for them, I was missing those moments. My girl is four years old and in the past two, three years, she has um, a health condition that she needs a little bit of attention, um, which I thought that's okay too, because there's always solutions for things. But since I'm home with her, I'll tell you, she didn't need her inhaler. She had a startup of an asthma for the past two years. So we would go to the hospital and have her on oxygen in the winter because of how, how because of the heat and all that stuff, from, like the, the heaters and the, inside the house that would not something that she could deal with. Um, but since I was, I'm home with her and we're going through winter now, uh, she didn't need her inhaler, not even once. Um, and then when I think about it, like she needed her mom, that's what she needed. Um, my, my son, uh, he's 13 years old, he's a teenager now. Um, and I thought that he's been really, since he's, he's little, um, very responsible and caring person, but he was not showing me how much he needed me because he knew that I was doing what I was doing for them. When I realized that, I was like, oh my God, how did I think about this upside down, Re really? I was, um, I was trading my time for money from my job, thinking that that's what I needed to do. Uh, but now I realize that no, time is money and time is not going to come back, especially with our kids. Money will come and go in our life. Money is not the thing. It's, it's, it's just a, it's not a, it's, it's a mean, it's not a goal. 
but the time will never come back, especially uh, the time with our kids. So uh, what happened to me in the summer, losing my job was actually a blessing, believe it or not. I, th I think of it as the best thing that happened to me for the past 10, 17 years, because I realized that there's other ways. Yes, there are our ways. And my mindset has shifted like 360 degrees. And at the moment, six months, I'm six months in this business. I'm already seeing the success. I'm already sustaining financially. And um, my mindset is totally different. Like I have the time freedom to spend with my kids and be there for them. And they are my priority. They've always been my priority, but I had... I think I had my um, my process wrong. Now I think I got the process in a, in a, in a better uh, priorities. Um, so yeah, so, so, so this business has been a, a, a really open opening uh, my mind and my eyes um, to other ways to really be present in our. Uh, family's life and that's what I want to share with everybody else and I want to bring my journey forward in case someone is in those shoes and doesn't see really uh, um, that there is other ways there is other options there that you can pursue just all you need to be open for the change and open your mind um, to new ideas for me I was pushed to it because I lost my job and I had to find a solution. It was not like if I had still my job now, I wouldn't have seen and I wouldn't be where I am now. Um, so sometimes life just give us a kick <laughs> in the stomach just to really wake up. And that's what I had. But it was for the best. Um, so, yeah, that was my why, I think. See, just looking at the three of us, we come from three different, different uh, backgrounds. So, Irene, you're a mom at home, staying at home. Uh, Amal, she lost her job and found this opportunity. And me here, I'm still working full time. Uh, and I mm. do this on the side at night and on the weekend. Um, so, for me, it was a little bit also similar to your story, Amal, where I was finding myself always, always like running, 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 nonstop, mm. nonstop, mm. nonstop. Mm. It's like, it, it became, everything became a habit where you're not even thinking, you're just like, wake up, go, yeah. get the kids ready. And God forbid, they're having a slower morning and then you stress and you get them like, come on, come on, I'm waiting, let's go, let's go. So you're, you're putting the stress on these kids or kids that they don't even know what stress is, right? Like they learn it from us. So they mm -hmm. were getting stressed, mm -hmm. get them to, to, to school, drop them off, go to work. Then you have all the pressure of work and and um, you, you, you work. I felt like I always worked 200% for my, my, my jobs and I gave everything to 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 it's it's a part of me I, I like to have everything perfect and give 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 and then at the end of the day I would come home and I'm still stressed out pick up the kids get home you have to cook you have to and I, I'm I'm not the only one I am sure uh, thousands of women resonate with me and then you you gotta cook and make their homework and at the same time you're like okay you need to take a shower get ready for the next day and these poor kids they get to sit with you for two hours a night two three hours a night that's it that's all they get from mm -hmm. you this is they look forward to spending time with you but then that time they're spending with us it's not even quality time because you're doing a thousand things at the same time so but deep down inside of me i'm like I know I could do so much more and I deserve so much more. And how come all these people around me have owned their own business and they're entrepreneurs and younger girls than me, 10 years younger mm -hmm. than me, they're mm -hmm. making double my salary and they're, and don't get me wrong, I'm very comfortable, but still like, it's not even about the money. For me, it wasn't even about the money. Mm -hmm. It was more mm -hmm. like, I always wanted to own something to myself. Uh, my husband owned his company and I'm very proud of it and he's doing super great, but it's still not me. It's it, like, I always felt like mm, I can yeah. prove to myself that I can do it. 
Mm -hmm. I deserve it as much as anybody around me. So it was always inside of me, but I didn't know how, where, where to start. And I was so busy that I couldn't just sit down and think about it. So I'm like, okay, one day it happened. If God's willing, if, you know, like <laughs> talk to yourself. And then when God I, willing. when I, God is always yeah, willing. You just need to God is willing. It's going to happen one day, but like, it's like saying, I want to, I never won the lottery, but you never bought a lottery ticket. You know, like <laughs> it's going to happen. So, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, it's going to happen one day, but I don't know how it's going to happen. And uh, I would talk to uh, my friends around me and they're like, yeah, but what are you going to do? Like these people, they all ha have someone uh, behind them, pushing them, or they have the, the, uh, the assets to start something. Like, where are you going to start? Mm -hmm. So it's not by being mean or anything. They just like, that's the reality we live in yeah. today. Like you got to go to work, uh, raise your family, and that's it. That's your life. Let's That's go. how we are programmed. That's our. Program. That's how we are programmed. But mm. uh, one day in the summer, I was I was sitting outside actually on the front porch, and I'm scrolling through Facebook like everybody does. We spend hours sometimes on it, and and uh, I fell on uh, on an ad where coach actually our coach Lena she 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 um, was working full time and also uh, working online, and for me online was the best, best business you could have. Like I knew it had to be online because for me to, to uh, leave the corporate world and then go open a store or open another uh, where I'm gonna still be away from my kids even more than working for, for a company, right? Like you're working for a company, you work from nine to five, you're done, you go home. But when you own your business as a, a franchise, as a brick and mortar, you're not going from nine to five. You have to build yeah. your business. You have to go in earlier. You leave mm -hmm. at 10, 11 at night. So you're even more away from your kids. And that yeah. wasn't an option. So when I found out about this platform, first thing that, that clicked in my head, it was, oh my God, this is a sign of God. This is a sign from God. That's how I saw it. I'm like, okay, you need to look into it. Don't just like go in and and look do the whole steps find out what it is before you get scared and push away everybody has fear but we got to learn to when there's fear right guys when there's fear it's because there's something that could be very good behind it there's nothing yeah. easy that comes in life if it's too yeah. easy it's like okay no it doesn't make sense you have to feel that um should i do it that excitement where could it be for real like and that's because you're getting a great sign. And that was it. And guys, me too, I started at the same time as Amal. Irene, actually, when did you start exactly? You started before us. Yes, I came across this business almost one year ago, but I didn't join right away. Mm -hmm. because, uh, I said I was super busy and I am still super busy, but I am now more organized. And mm -hmm. so uh, it took me a time to decide that, okay, I. I believe in it from the first second, but uh, there is yeah, the time. Like you say, the sign the, from God that it is the time. Now you have to start. So I yeah. got the, uh, I own this business uh, because um, actually and really, uh, my husband is very busy. Uh, he came late to the home. I didn't. I don't see him. Uh, the kids uh, all the time. He came. Uh, the kids is sleeping. Mm -hmm. And so we don't live uh, a normal, normal family. Life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Normal. But no. I think that it's it's the, the situation of a lot of families. Yeah. 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 So uh, okay, I'm studying and uh, I'm take care for the uh, of the kids because uh, I'm alone here. I don't have a family like you, Celine. Uh, my family is back uh, in the Golan Heights, so I have to take care of my kids. They are still uh, babies, and uh, I, I need to be around them in this age, this early years. Uh, so I can go out and work outside the home, uh, but I want to work and I want to earn to help him financially to stay more time with us at home, to spend uh, more time as a family. So. Uh, like I said, I believe in this from the first second. And when was the perfect time? I signed the paper. I joined this community, and I am today. I am very, very happy 
with all my responsibility, uh, it's more responsibility uh, for me as a mom, as a student, as a business owner, uh, and my, my team is going and grow and more responsibility, but still I am more organized and more have time to do everything. And I love everything I do in this business and everything this business give, gave to me and still giving to me uh, for my mindset, for my personality. I am growing and learning every day. So uh, this is my why, why I joined this business because I want my husband to, to be around me, around the kids and mm -hmm. spend more time as a family. It, exactly. Yeah. And Irene, I mean, you're sacrificing too on the short term, right? Like you're studying and you're doing this and you have the babies at home and it's normal. There's nothing that can be done easily. And, and oh, I own an uh, online business. Now I'm making millions. It doesn't happen like that. Like, like no. I get a lot of it's, comments it's from my... It's not, no, a but lottery, it's not a lottery, but I have a lot of mothers that contact me and they tell me, but Celine, we're super busy. We don't have time for this. And mm -hmm. I feel bad because you know what? I want this opportunity for all the mothers out there because yes, it's sacrificing, but on the short term, right? Like I do it about mm -hmm. two hours at night and then a few hours on the weekend. It is hard instead of sleeping, let's say at 10, I'm sleeping at 12, but I know it's only for, uh, um, a, a short time and then it will uh, be running by its yeah so energy, the positive energy that this uh, community give us uh, give us the encourage us to do this work even if we don't have the time uh, you you want to do it you, you want to find the time to do this mm -hmm. yeah this is this is how it turns your mind to an entrepreneur to a business owner versus an employee so when you are an employee you are thinking of that nine to five whatever shift you work and this is the time i'm connected to the, my work that's how much they pay me i need to be there but when you own your business there, you don't think like that anymore and especially if you're doing something that you're really passionate about and it's really bringing new knowledge and new opportunities in your life and you see where it could take you that's the big thing too the vision of where you can be that you find the time you know sometimes we are texting at 1 and a.m in the morning yeah. Celine and me yeah. so did you see that <laughs> did you see this are you still awake do you want to do you want to go to sleep now so we are working around our life just to make it happen and as Celine said at the beginning it's it takes more time because you're learning in your industry you are learning a new way of thinking you are being exposed to this a lot of information there but once you pass that training phase and you it clicks in your head and you set all your platforms and you get the system going as we say then two to three hours a day is more than enough to really um, follow up, right? Do you and agree, honestly, ladies? When, yes, because when, when you open a brick and mortar, who's there to help you? Who's there to help uh, you? God. God. <laughs> now, in this business, how many people do we have the support of? Do you ever feel like you have a business by yourself? I never feel no. like I have a business by myself. No, I have no. you guys. I have the, the we have the uh, our small group, like you said, Amal. Then we have the community's help. Then we have the like masterminds, and we have so many people supporting us that you never, never feel like you can. Do there's it. a lot of resources there's actually, there. There's mm -hmm. actually no way we're gonna let you not do it. We'll do yeah. everything in our power to help you out. Mm -hmm. Like we mm -hmm. want everybody to succeed, and that's what's yeah. amazing about it. Yeah. Celine, would you tell us a little bit about our program, what we are going to do, uh, get more excitement to the... Yes, yes. So, okay, so what uh, what happened, um, we all love reading books here, the three of us, where uh, we love to uh, read books. And uh, we share between us uh, books and uh, things that would be beneficial for us. And one of the books I had read a few months back for the holidays, uh was written by lisa Druxman and lisa yes the empowered mama so this author author here she is honestly one of my biggest idol 
uh, for sure, we follow Tony, Tony Robbins and um, uh, Robert Kioski and everybody. But for me, Lisa was a very, very, I got, uh, I resonated with her. And that's what we're hoping for you guys too, to resonate with us because she was a, a mom like all of us. And uh, she had just um, uh, give, given birth to her baby and she was at home, stay at home mom. And she, she wanted to, um, exercise at the same time and took her kid in a stroller and going around the, the, the her house and she was thinking at the same time she's thinking what can i do what can i do I'm, i i want to stay home i want to take care of my kids exactly what we went through. and uh, something clicked in her head and usually when you're really looking for something and you desire it from deep 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 inside of you you'll get all the signs uh, and everything will start making sense in your head. So mm -hmm. what she did, she created the empire uh, around healthy moms. So she wanted to give all her energy to make mothers out there that are busy, that are uh, into the working and uh, the way we felt, make them healthy. And she uh, was the founder of Fit for Moms. So the people that are in the States, maybe that will resonate with them. Fit for Mom offers stroller stride, fit for baby, body back um, uh, gy uh, gyms. I think she did. Kind of, it's it's um, the largest fitness program in the U.S. It has over two thousand location and nearly three hundred franchise uh, around the country. I'm sorry if it's noisy on my end. My son is on. My kids are on spring break, and he's in two cars. So the ones uh, from my page know that. Um, she's also a motivational speaker, an influencer, and she has a blogger and an entrepreneur. So anyways, all that to say, so Lisa, what she did was she wanted, she's here on the, I don't know if they see it on the right side, Amal, because sometimes people are telling me when I show things, they show upside down. So no, that's uh, fine. it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for yeah. her, it was really important how to reclaim your time and yourself while raising a happy, healthy family. So all that to say that she asked me questions. OK, I, I feel like when I was reading her book and I really suggest if you have time and you like reading, take the time to read this book. And the way she wrote it, she wrote it on 12 month period. So me, I'm, I'm, I read super fast. So I read her book within two days. But the, the right way of reading it is to read one chapter every month and follow her uh, advice. So she asked four questions and actually she's asking everybody, but for me, it was like she's asking them to me. Do you want your children to take care of themselves the way you do? That's one. Do you want them to eat like you do? Do you want them to exercise like you do? And do you want them to stress like you do? My answer to the four questions were no. It was a definite no at that time, okay? So that's when she says, "It this book is about me before motherhood. So she's concentrating on the mother, on getting that mother, uh, that me, that woman to be stronger, to get to the, the point of her life where she's like, okay, this is exactly how I am. I want to build myself, and then this will. Um, uh, uh, I'm not good. Uh, I'm all, uh, that's gonna project to yeah, your that's kids gonna and your family. Pass to my yeah, because they are they are watching us. Exactly. So she's saying it's about the importance of giving the people in your family the best gift that they could ever have, which is happy, healthy, and well balanced life. Mm -hmm. To do that, yeah. we have to live the way. We want our children to live. Yes. Okay? And it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. Anything no. we're going to talk about this on the show, and you're going to see sometimes we're going to tell you what we went through. And actually, maybe after this, I'll tell you what I experienced from yesterday to today. And Amal could share her stories too. Oh. We, we don't have a perfect life, guys. We're going no. through this with you, and we want to learn as we go. So. Yeah. We want them to laugh more and to feel overwhelmed less, to exercise more and to run errands less. First, let's start with us and our kids will follow. To eat healthier and to have fast food less, to chill out more and to stress less. So if you realize what she's doing here, 
She's not telling you, you have to laugh more, exercise more, eat healthier and chill out. She's saying, and to feel overwhelmed less and to run errand less and to eat fast food less and to stress less. So basically, it's uh, uh, it takes time. Anything that you guys read or hear about that is like, oh, in 14 days, you'll get this. In, in, in 30 days, you're... it's not right. Don't force yourself to do something and rush it because you'll give up. At a point, you'll give up. It could be too much pressure on yourself. You have to take things slowly, slowly, so your body could adjust. You have to change your habits. And that's exactly what she's teaching us are here. There is a one quote that I love in there. Your children will follow your example, not your advice. So whatever you want to put in your children's head, you could repeat it a hundred times. It will not sink in until you show them. Yep. Okay. And us, actually, the way we grew up, it was completely different. I don't know how they did it, our parents. It was more like... It's different times, though. It's a different, different time. time. Yeah, I feel like our kids are a lot more awake, a lot more uh, maybe smart. I don't know what it is, but they challenge. There's a lot us. of they... more distraction in their world. Like and, we used and to they have one, more, one right? hour, one hour TV time, and that's it. Now, how and much? Went... <laughs> <laughs> then we didn't have the iPad and the YouTube for, and the for girls of TVs now. Like I don't have cables at home. We only no. watch Netflix. We don't. I don't watch news and all no. that stuff. But they're all on their um, on their screens. Like, which and did you realize? TV, but it's... <laughs> did you realize the videos that I posted from my son cooking with me and the way he's talking to the public? Like, I got the shock of my life when mm -hmm. I did the video. It was the first time I'm seeing him mm -hmm. in the video too. And like this, don't yeah. do this at home. It could be dangerous for you. And this. And the way he was speaking to the public, and then I it opened my eyes they to are other funny. kids. And it's funny. like, they, yeah. we are learning this now today for our business, and these kids are growing up with it. Mm -hmm. That's another thing why this business is amazing, because we're gonna we could give it to our kids, and by the time they grow up, oh my god, they, they're gonna we they're, are leveling up with them too. We don't feel yeah. so far behind. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Kids today born with uh, everything uh, related to the social media, how to use the phones, they born with it now. Yeah, it's that's what they know. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's it. So this is just a little like sneak peek about the book and um, we'll share with you more as we go. Um, we're going to try to, uh, we talked about, we'll see how long it's going to take. We don't want to drink, like push it for too many weeks. We want to talk about other things too, but like Amal and Irene said, if you have any other suggestion that you want us to focus on, I think this is a good um, recap and a good uh, place to start if you want to change or if you want to change your habits. This is an amazing recap of everything you need to do. And it's done in a way where it's feasible. It's not yeah. like, oh, stop eating everything and you have to eat this kind of food. No, she's very um, down to earth, this uh, Lisa. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I want to add that we are uh, open to all your suggestions, uh, everything you want us to focus in, anything uh, you want more information, you want us to give you more information from our experience, from uh, the whole world around us, uh, send us a message, leave a comment, ask a question, and uh, we are open for oh. everything. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we will give you and we focused and available and available mm. uh, information and value uh, talk. Let's say that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, so I think uh, we will wrap it up here. I uh, want to thank everyone who watched us, who who was there, um, and uh, I will look forward to having you with us every week, every Thursday at noon. We will be here bringing more value. We will be a little bit of business, a little bit of fun, a little bit of entertainment, and a little bit of our life and journey that we're going to share with you. Uh, I hope everyone will have a good day. Anything you want to add, ladies, before we're... we're I want to try something. I want... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try something. It's just in uh, my head. So those who are watching us live, can you please, please, please uh, comment with a heart? So we know later on who's watching live and who 
is watching the replay, it would be really interesting because mm. we want to do some uh, things around this too. Okay. Thank yeah, you. That's a good idea. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank we will you. see you next week. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye.